Hello everyone and welcome to Van Tech Corner. In this video, I would like to introduce a new router from GLINet, the Barrett MT1300. It is running OpenWRT and pre-installed with all the packages such as OpenVPN, Wygod VPN, 3G, 4G support, and USB tethering, which will have you getting started with OpenWRT without complex installation. The router is powered by the dual core MediaTek MT7621 ASOC, clocked at 880 MHz, and supports hardware accelerators up to 2 GBPS. It had 256 MB of DDR3 RAM and 32 MB of internal flash. Even though the powerful router board is packed inside a tiny case, it still had 3 Gigabit Ethernet ports, 1 USB 3.0, an SD card slot, a USB Type-C port to power the board, and two external, non-detectable dual-band Wi-Fi antenna. I forgot to mention that it can handle maximum 400 Mbps with the 2.4 Wi-Fi radios and 867 Mbps with the 5 GHz Wi-Fi radio. GL.inet defined the barriers as the travel routers. Therefore, I will set it up with my smartphone to see if the web GUI is mobile friendly. First, let's plug in the USB Type-C power connectors. You can see the router is off and the LED indicator turns blue. Now let's connect the Ethernet cable to the one port. Everything should be ready and the LED indicator turn white. On my phone, I can see two new LSIDs come up. It starts with glmt 1300 The default password is good life. Internet is ready and let's run the speed test. Rate, we have around 200 Mbps for download with the default configuration from GLINet. It is time to accept the router web GUI. The default LAN IP is 192.168.8.1 and we should be able to reach the web interface there. Here we are the initial configuration page. I will go with English and click next to move to the next page. Right here, we can set up the router password. This will be the password for root account. I will use Vantech Corner as an example. We have done with the initial setup and this is the router main page. Right here, we can have an overview of the network connection. The router is currently working in DHCP mode on the one interface. We can also configure Wi-Fi repeaters or 4G tethering from this page. On the right side, there is a menu where we can access to all the sections. The 2.4 and 5 GHz Wi-Fi can be configured from the wireless tab. We also have the Get Future Viewing. The router is running a custom view of OpenWRT from GL.inet, and we can update the firmware over the air. At the same time, you can manually select the firmware to update on the local tab. On the client section, we can have an overview of the total client connected via Wi-Fi or Ethernet cable. On the VPN tab, we can configure Wygod VPN, OpenVPN in both servers and client mode with just a few clicks. The router also has a built-in internet kill switch which will block the internet access when the VPN tuner is down. Besides all this cool stuff, the router also has some ray features from GL.inet, such as cloud management and dynamic DNS. We can also set up a captive portal for get Wi-Fi easily by turning the switch right here. Before ending the video, let's set up the OpenVPN client on the router with the phone. It is very simple. I just need to accept the OpenVPN client page, upload the OpenVPN configuration file and enable it. The network service of the router will automatically restart. After reconnect to Wi-Fi, I am now connected to my OpenVPN server via the router.
speed test results is not really fast and it is around 18 Mbps. Alright, so that's all for this introduction video. In the next video, we will do some advanced stuff with the barrels such as Insan Lucy Web GUI and checking out the router probot with NAT, OpenVPN and Wygod VPN. Let's see if this travel router can be a core router. Thanks for watching and I will be see you all in the next video. Bye bye.